What's up guys, Patrick here from the Life Artist channel and welcome to another crypto video. Today I want to talk about blockchain, so let's get right into it. What is a blockchain? Because blockchain is actually the 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 blockchain is actually the, 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 the technology behind all these cryptocurrencies and why it's it's so amazing is you know you can imagine a blockchain like a, it's like a public ledger right um, the main concept of a blockchain is the decentralization of our money system you know if we look at our money system today you know we have like central banks we have the central banks and they kind of print money print money you know charge fees um, define interest rates uh, and so on and so on and they actually control everything and you know make everything secure and stuff and this is not a bad thing you know but we have to trust we have to trust in these banks you know that they not doing any any bullshit or so um, so I'm so yeah you know you you know where I want to go so um, and the, the, the concept of a, a blockchain is to decentral, decentralize, um, decentralize this whole system, right? So, how would you how would you imagine this? Let's let's say if we if we say a blockchain is actually nothing more than a public ledger. So we have like a little sheet, you know, here where we say, okay, Ben owns five coins, uh, Sue owns three coins, and I don't know, Marie or Mary owns, let's say, six, right? So this is our public ledger. And now transactions are happening um, from various kind of people. And after these transactions happened, we update this whole thing and now Ben let's say has four Sue has four as well and Mary still has six so now we have this update right we have one block we have two blocks and we have this update and then this whole thing will happen again and again and again and again and um, after a while we got this all this blocks glued together which create the blockchain right so it's pretty simple where this term comes from and um, in terms of de decentralization um, we have the following concept which is we have let's say someone in USA someone in Russia someone in Europe someone in South America someone in Australia, you know, um, all over the world, um, North Pole, South Pole, whatever, and they all communicate to each other, you know, and make sure that everyone has the same copy uh, as they do, you know, and then, you know, it will look like something like this, you know, so everybody is in interacting with each other and always checking okay does he has the same copy as I have and um, you know sooner or later the daughter will increase so high that it's you know that it's hard for everyone to 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 keep this kind of notes or keep a copy you know in, in the cryptocurrency scene we we would say a full note if you have a full note you have the whole history of cryptocurrency or you know of one of one currency let's say Bitcoin um, so 
in 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 crypto in the crypto world we call this a full node right so and that is where the miners uh, come into play a miner represents a full note right so a miner always has a full note and um, the, the the yeah that that is actually the the the, the sense of a, of a miner and miners are there for um, creating new blocks creating new blocks um, with um, creating new blocks with they have a common common consensus oh consensus I don't know how to write this which says that they have to um, they have to solve a mathematical problem so what they do is um, they kind of would note everything let's say you know A is transfer something to B and B is transferring something to C and C to A and they note everything down here and when they are ready you know when one sheet is full when one block is, is full filled up they do a, a mathematical they solve a mathematical problem you know and try to find some last numbers it, you know it's not in a in a cryptographical way this happens in a cryptographical way so it's not that there that you can find these names ben sue or mary but everyone would have a, a bitcoin address which is an alphanumeric uh, yeah w which has like 25 or 35 alphanumeric characters something like i don't know zero zero five a b c uh, six eight seven nine and so on and so on and so on so they have all these numbers here and then try to find the last numbers which and these last numbers will like glue the first block we have here to this one you know so only if you found these last numbers let's say it's five six seven um, you know they will um, they will change the 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 cryptographical uh, mathematical problem in the second in the second block and so on and so on and so on so they're kind of glued together right um, so it's it's a little bit like this that after someone you know let's say we have five miners you know and everybody is trying to to solve this problem and once the first miner solved this problem he says hey I've got the solution this is the solution and then every miner would check if the data he has um, here uh, uh, noted you know the, the, the transactions and the account values if they are um, the same as the other miners like they just compare what he has noted and once they they compared it and and it uh, and it it seems to be the same they kind of say hey um, well done you know this is supposed to be this thumb up <laughs> I don't know well done um, they they kind of delete um, let's say you know every miner has made his own block and here we have the the winner block and then miners would compare um, their own blocks to this one and when they when they confirm that they delete their own blocks you know everybody every miner has his own blockchain here you know which is actually which is all the time all the time the same this is all the same and then they're deleting their their things their their new blocks and editing adding these uh, the, the winner block to their own blockchain uh, so they all have the same the same blockchain right and and then uh, a new block will be a new block will be created um, 
Yeah. So and then and as I mentioned before, in a cryptographical way, these blocks are glued together, right? With these with these numbers I set. And you can, if you want to have another picture, you can imagine, you know, putting paper with a glue on top of each other, like this. And you know, let's say um, someone wants to manipulate this. So if someone wants to manipulate like something right here because he wants to give himself more money or something, he has to rip this apart. You know, he has to rip this apart because it's so tight glued together. And uh, from that moment, everybody will notice, hey, someone is trying to manipulate the blockchain, right? And um, th this is what it makes it so secure is that the miners have to solve this this big problem uh, with uh, you know this big mathematical problem because you know they investing time computing power electricity costs they're investing money um, in this kind of it's it's called proof of work you know proof of work it's just the proof of work uh, it's it's the same when you mine gold someone is putting work in it and that's exactly what we find here that we have this proof of work they have to solve this mathematical problem to glue these things together so if someone wants to manipulate it he has to decrypt this uh, just vice versa you know he has to decrypt this one to get these numbers and then this one and this one until he gets here and because this is so expensive to do, because you need so much computing power and so much electricity costs, right? And so much computing power, um, it, 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 it's actually not worth doing it, you know? And they say that you kind of want to wait for four blocks until your transaction is 100% safe. You know, four blocks and your and, and, and your transaction is pretty solid safe. Because from that moment it's it's kind of hard to, you know, decryptify everything again and again and again. And you know, even if ninety-nine percent of the people are uh, would disagree uh, at some point with the history of the blockchain, um, they would have to decryptify this as well, you know? Um, they have to decryptify this and this is so much so much work so that there is will be always the question is it worth is it worth to you know uh, decryptify all this history and this is why the blockchain is such an exciting uh, technology because no banks are involved you know we are we people are managing our own money system but you know it, it only works if a lot of people take part you know the more people take part um, the, sh the, the more secure it'll be and the longer this will go on you know the more blocks we have and the harder it will be to really change history um, so this is in my opinion this is a really really interesting really really secure system and it's pretty new and that is what makes Bitcoin so so interesting because Bitcoin just represents this new technology which has never been here in, in that way you know uh, combined with the, our digital digital um, industries so yeah, that's actually everything you need to know about, about blockchain and about mining. Um, if you have any questions, just don't hesitate to, to leave them in the comments. Um, yeah, I'm going to upload some more, some more videos in the future about cryptocurrency, you know, just, just uh, the things I'm, I'm dealing with. And... Um, yeah, hope to see you soon and uh, keep tuned for more, for more content. Hope to see you soon and uh, be your own life artist. Bye.